3. Grammar. Today we have relative pronouns, who, which, and that, and we have the relative adverb, where. When it comes to meaning, what do they mean? They all mean the same thing. So, why do we have too many relative pronouns if they all mean the same thing? Because we can't use them the same way. Each one of these pronouns has its own use. Look, use. How we use them. The man who won the title of world's best football player is Lionel Messi. The car which I'd like to buy is blue. Can we use which in the first example? No. Can we use who in the second example? No. You tell me. When do you think should we use who? When do you think we should use which? Can you think? We're talking about a man here. You're right. Who is used with people? If you are talking about a man, a woman, group of people, then you use who. These are the people who are going to a foreign country. The car which, which, we're talking about a car here, we're talking about a thing. Okay, we are done with who, we know that who for people, which for things. How about that? That can be used with people and it can be used with things. Easy. So instead of saying the man who, you can also say the man that one. It's correct. The car which I'd like to buy, the car that I'd like to buy, both are correct. All right, easy. We finished the first three. How about where? Look, that's the school where we learn many things. Where is used, can you guess? Yes, you're right. With places. We are talking about the place where we learn many things. We can learn English in, in schools. We can learn mathematics, science, all different kind of things. However, where can be very confusing. Why? Let me show you. Which and where. Four sentences, they all begin with, this is the school. This is the school. This is the school. This is the school. But they finish differently. The King Belt has nine classrooms, opens five days a week. I learn English. You and me will try to fill in these blanks using which or where. Look, you might think, okay, they all begin with school. School is a place. We will put where in all the blanks. No, it doesn't work like this. Listen to me very carefully. School can be a place and it, it can also be a thing. Take a pen as an example. You know, a pen, like blue pen and a red pen. Pens are things, not places. We all agree on that. You can buy a pen. You can sell a pen. You can break a pen. You can destroy a pen. Can you do these things to schools? Well, sometimes, yes. For example, if the school is private not a government school, and you have a lot of money, then you can buy a school. So, school is working like a thing, not as a place. So, you can buy a pen or you can buy a school. But, when you talk about something that happens inside the school, then we ultimately mean that school as a place. Okay, this is very important. We only use where for places when we talk about something that happens in the place. If you are uh, talking about school as something you bought with your money, then it's, it's like a thing. It's not like a place, okay? Let's do this. This is the school the king built. This is the school which the king built. This is the school where the king built. Think. Pause the video. 
Read the four examples. Think. Decide which or where. Okay. Can you build a school? Okay, yes, you can. Can you build? Can you build things? Yes. Well, it's it's like a thing here. So, which? This is the school. Has nine classrooms. Is this something happens inside the school? No. Which? Opens five days a week. Does this happen inside the school? No. I learn English. Does this happen inside the school? Yes. We go to school to learn. We, we learn inside these schools. In example number four, we use where. Do you get it? Is it easy now? Let me give you more examples. Two more. This is the farm. This is the farm. If you don't know the meaning of farm, here is the meaning. They grow vegetables. My father bought five years ago. This is the farm. Which they grow vegetables or where? Does this happen inside the farm? They grow vegetables. Yes. So put where. How about this? Does this happen inside the farm? No, my father bought it. Like he bought a car, he bought a pen. So which? Here is another two examples. I live in an area has the best shopping malls. Does area here function like a thing or a place? Think. Like a thing, because it has something. Like it owns the best shop shopping malls. I live in an area was visited by the king. I live in an area which was visited by the king. Something happened to the place. Another two. I live in an area you can find the best shopping malls. Okay has the best shopping malls you can find the best shopping malls i live in an area which you can find where you can find the best shopping malls what do you think where you can find the best sh shopping malls i live in an area where the king lives both are where now let's move on and finish the exercise on page 21. Complete the postcard. Here is the postcard with who, which, that, or where. If they can be omitted, omitted means deleted, ignored. When can we delete or remove or unuse where, that, which, who? Listen. Where can never be omitted. Who, which, and that can be omitted if they refer to the object. Okay, object, we can omit. Omit means delete, remove. That, which, and who if they refer to the object. Where can never be omitted. Now, if they can be omitted, put them in brackets. Hi, Jules. Greetings from Rome. This is somebody who has been to Rome and he's sending this postcard to his friend, Jules. Hi, Jules. Greetings from Rome. I'm visiting Italy. Where, who, which, that, my cousin lives. Okay, we're talking about a place where his cousin lives, so where? because he lives inside this place. You remember Mark, right? He's the guy... Oh, this one is easy. We're talking about a guy. So, who? Or that, of course. Whenever you can use who, you can use that. Whenever you use which, you can also use that. Who was staying at my house last July? Mark's house is in an area which okay area it's not who we know that is it which has all the best places 
or where has no no the area has something though it's like a thing which has all the best places to visit yesterday we visited the Colosseum that's the place gladiators used to fight let me show you a picture of gladiators fighting in a Colosseum the name of this place is a Colosseum this place is a Colosseum these two fighters are gladiators they are fighting each other inside the Colosseum this is how the Romans used to do with slaves these two are slaves they are not free men they are fighting and killing each other for entertainment for these for the crowds amusement can you believe that unbelievable so that's the place it's something happened in the place gladiators used to fight in that place tomorrow Mark's taking me to shop to a shopping center okay he is taking him to a place which is huge or where is huge okay we are describing the place which is huge of course the picture on the postcard is a beautiful square we visited today it's like a thing they did this thing to the square hey what's the Italian team which you like where you like who you like we're talking about the team so which you might think okay team that means people no when we talk about the team for example Barcelona Football Club we're talking about a thing not people okay even though the team is consisted of 11 players is it Lazio or Roma anyway we are watching a game tomorrow night see you soon Lee I hope that you learned something today if you like this video please share it with friends goodbye Thank you.